Hey everyone, this is Tisk Junkie, and today I'm reviewing The Queen. And, uh, well, uh, the cover doesn't really have a specific title, as in special edition or such. However, I can mention that this is, uh, in fact, a limited edition. Uh, it's from Thailand. Uh, and if I recall correctly, there's sort of a rumor going on that this was limited to 250 copies. Uh, that sounds really, really low, and I don't really know if it's true or not, but uh, for what it's worth, uh, there you can even see me in the reflection there. Hello! But anyway, um, we got a clear plastic slipcase, as you can plainly see, and the backside sort of has the same sort of goldenish frame to it. Quite nice, feels, feels sort of fitting to the movie. Um, so yeah. And the tile is then obviously printed on the interior cover and not on the slipcase. But yeah, um, this is uh, not sturdy at all. It's a very soft, bendable plastic, a little bit wobbly. Um, nevertheless, kind of a cool thing. Looking at the cover, this is actually sort of like a, like a velvety cover. You can sort of hear the sound of it. You might be able to tell by the look, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, kind of like a velvet cover, so it'll get a bit dusty. But it uh, feels really luxurious, good looking. Um, and it is sort of like a, like a clamshell case, you can see on the side there. So the printing is obviously golden. And yeah, really like the look of it. It's a bit, it's kind of a tight fit, so it's a little hard to get it open. There we go. Alright, as you can see, this is pretty much one of those, I don't know what they're commonly called, not really a diggy book, but, uh, well, uh, there are there are some sort of diggy pack-esque uh, type cases that have this sort of style with the, sort of, you know, uh, with these extra edges going around it. Uh, one that comes to mind is, for instance, like... Um, the Terminator. There's um, a UK special edition with sort of, which sort of had like a a dig pack case in this kind of fashion where it had edges. So, uh, however, that actually had the dig tray glued into the into the case, which this one doesn't. So here we actually just have sort of like a you know just an outer case to to go around the dig pack. But as you can tell, you know it's quite nice. Um, it's not like super quality, I mean sort of this paper here is sort of glued to the inside and as you can see it does have like some creases and stuff which doesn't really feel like it's been damaged, it's just, you know, it's just sort of poorly glued uh, and yeah you can tell over here too that it has sort of like a bit of air bubbles or something so it sort of has that typical Thailand quality to it where you know these sets aren't commonly very expensive uh, when they get released. You sort, of, you sort of, you know, you you get what you pay for. It's not, it's pretty cool, but it, it's nowhere near as high quality as the stuff you see from Japan or, you know, on a lot of other continents. You 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 learn to recognize the style basically. Um, but anyway, you can see what else is in the bag, or bag, or yeah, well, in the case. So uh, here we have something kind of odd. This is a this is actually sort of a small promotional little booklet thing, which is actually from Twinings, you know, the company that makes the tea. So what do you know? We actually got an ha we actually got to get a tea bag included here. I, I don't know what to say about this. This particular item has nothing to do with the film. You know, it doesn't have and a specific design to sort of make it go together with the movie. Um, I think it's a fun, a fun bonus. It's fitting in a way, you know, to include a tea bag with with a movie that focuses so much on on you know on British history, uh, so to speak. I mean, it is a movie about the Queen of England, so it's weird. But yeah, I would have preferred it if they had sort of made something that would, you know, sig signify that uh, they're trying to make something, you know, to go with the movie. Now it's just like a bonus, a fitting bonus nevertheless, but 
I would have liked something a bit more yeah, specifically designed for the Queen, so to speak. I mean, not for the Queen, just for the movie The Queen. You, ah, whatever. Next up is, in fact, the Digipack, which is sort of a nice surprise. Uh, once again, here we have a glossy printing. Not the best cover. Uh, you know, it's okay, but I never liked these Academy Award winner and all that crap. So, would have liked a cover that's a bit cleaner. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's a nice look. And there we get the back cover, printed in English. Then we fold this out, get a nice single disc sticky pack, collector's booklet, typical pocket there. Take out the disc, just show you the background. Also here, this is one of those, another typical Thailand thing. Uh, when I'm talking about, you know, like it's poor quality, it's a lot of little things. Like, look at this. You. You see these kind of little stripes here, like there's one over here and then there's one there. You might be thinking like, okay, like the plastic has been cracked due to like damages or something, or you know, problems with transit. But this is actually, this is actually an illusion because the little lines here are, aren't, they're, they're not really cracks. They are in fact the glue residue from when they glued uh, the four you know, the four dots of glue to hold the digit trace. So it's just glue and bleh, and while they're going over there they're sort of dripping on the on the print. So that's what you're looking at. That's what I'm talking about, you know, sort of it's inferior quality. They don't like you know, they they don't put ah ah oh, whatever, you know what I'm getting at. But anyway, I can show you the collector's booklet a little quick. Gallery of the Queen. And so I guess this is basically just a small photo booklet, has some quotes, stuff like that. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it. I'm pretty sure this is an edition a lot of you haven't seen. And quite honestly, I haven't actually watched this movie yet. It's one of the few films in my collection that I haven't watched. Um, and you know, I don't know if that says anything about me or about the movie, but uh, you know, I basically picked up this edition uh, quite cheaply back in the day and just bought it because I figured, you know, limited, kind of cool, hadn't really seen anyone else showing it, so... Uh, and uh, you can also watch me in the reflection, as before. So there I am. Woo! That's it from me today. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.